Evil Dead Rise is written and directed by Lee Cronin, whose last project was The Hole in the Ground. You should check it out if you haven't seen it. It's pretty good. And this is a twisted tale of two estranged sisters whose reunion is cut short by the rise of flesh-possessing demons, thrusting them into a primal battle for survival as they face the most nightmarish version of family imaginable. But before we get into the rest of the review, I do want to give a thank you to the sponsor for this video, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Our team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. If you're too busy for cooking this spring with Factor, you can skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy, then get back outside and soak up the warmer weather. At my house, the past few years have been really busy and we found ourselves relying way too much on delivery. And that's why Factor has really helped us. Because if you want to cut back on takeout just like me, you can get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. So for me, the goal was to rely far less on delivery, and Factor has really helped with that. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code STUCKMAN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com, the code is STUCKMAN50, and you get 50% off your first Factor box. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video. I like all the Evil Dead movies. The first one has such a low budget charm to it. Bruce Campbell is amazing. He's even better in Evil Dead 2, which had a little more money and is still my favorite one. An Army of Darkness is insane. It's great. I love all three of them. Fetty Alvarez's Evil Dead is also very good, and I've enjoyed that movie even more on rewatch. More so, I think, than any of the previous Evil Dead movies, there's an attempt at substance here. The last film had a group of friends staying at a cabin trying to help their one friend overcome addiction, and so that kept them there, and it was a nice excuse for them to not leave. Evil Dead Rise attempts a much deeper emotional setup, because unlike the previous films, which were about boyfriends, girlfriends, and friends, in this film, everyone a family member and so when things start to go wrong and you have to defend yourself against a loved one and you might be forced to do things you wish you never had to do it's different than if it's your friend or your boyfriend or somebody you just met or a pal from college you're looking at someone who's literally your flesh and blood speaking of blood the movie's got a lot of it it's an evil dead movie of course you expect that i do think the 2013 film is far more gruesome this movie definitely has quite a bit of gore and some very satisfying moments but it is a little more tension-based than the others, but there were moments in the last one that I felt were considerably more violent and wince-inducing than in this movie. And that's not to say that this movie is worse or anything. There's plenty of vomit and dismemberment and all kinds of things. It's just that it felt a little more violent for violence's sake, whereas in the 2013 Fetty Alvarez version, I squirmed often in my seat. And in the past Evil Dead movies, when someone is taken over by this evil force, it tends to be more of a violation than it is in this movie. I'm dancing around the words because of YouTube's policies now, but this movie tones it down a bit. So you lose some of that impact, I think, that comes from the visceral nature of the way the evil usually gets into you uh, in other films. This movie shines in so many other ways, though. The pace is fantastic. This thing moves. It blows by. It's like 90-something minutes. It's perfect. The cinematography is gorgeous. All of the performances are extremely strong. The practical effects, as well as the visual effects, are top-notch, especially the work that's been done to Alyssa Sutherland. She plays the mother of the children in the film, as well as the sister of our protagonist, and she's who you've probably seen the most of in the trailers. Once she's possessed, her performance is great. She is so good in the film, and there's a great sequence looking through the peephole of a door involving her and some residents in this high-rise. It's excellent. Whenever you contain characters in a spot, you're kind of forced as a writer to continue to find new things for them to do constantly. And the film does a pretty good job with that. It can utilize the apartment itself, the hallways, the elevator, the parking deck, and maybe the vents, and find ways to use all of them. If you're a fan of the Evil Dead films and you've watched them all many times, you're going to see references to other films, but you're also going to understand where things are going when somebody finds a book that has teeth. You're like, eh, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to read that but I know you're going to. The only thing about the movie that really gave me any pause was the bookended sequences. There's an opening and a closing. 
that have very little to do with the main narrative and seem to service the potential note that maybe could have been given at some point where, hey, you gotta do something in the woods. All right, I'll write that in woods, in the cabin, and uh, I thought we were not doing this anymore. That was the whole point. Here you go. Okay, we're approved. Let's go. Let's shoot the movie. Of course, I could be completely wrong. That might have been in the very first draft. I don't know. I'm not telling you that's what happened. But it does feel like it's just in there to be in there. Like it doesn't have much of an impact on the story. But it did give me one of the coolest title reveals I've seen in a long time. So it's not like I watched it being like, what is this? I really did enjoy it. It just, in retrospect, doesn't really feel like it belongs. But yet again, this is a very entertaining Evil Dead movie. It's certainly not as funny as the Sam Raimi ones, just like Fetty Alvarez's wasn't either. But it's very fast paced with great gore, great kills. It looks beautiful. Definitely see it if you're a fan. And if you just want to watch a good horror movie, check it out too. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.